what's up what's up what's up you already know this is peach and baby <laughs> um today we're going to the doctor to check on baby uh now that we're getting closer we're gonna have to come to the doctor more frequently i doubt that i'm gonna be vlogging that experience just because i'm a private person i like privacy especially when it comes to my personal health stop asking about the goddamn lump in my neck normally when you come in here you have to you have like somebody outside taking temperatures and um giving you face masks it look like they might not require masks anymore or something i don't know but i gotta sign in right here now no fine i guess <laughs> peach patch so you still gotta wear a mask in here i can't wait till this mask stuff is like done for good it's so annoying and i know somebody gonna get mad but children, man. Peach Fresh, this place is packed, child. All these little COVID babies being born. But, um, so now they're allowing guests. Before, I've been coming here for a long time. Um, before, because of COVID, only the pregnant person can come. But now today, some men up in here. I'm like, y'all letting men back in here? So she said, now you're allowed to have one guest per person. Imagine some women have went through their whole entire pregnancy without bringing um, anybody I hate these things. I could barely breathe anybody with them, which I don't mind. It's our sixth baby. And most of the time, I always come to the doctor alone anyways before COVID. I feel like it's kind of stupid making a man come to the doctor's appointment. Unless it's y'all like first baby or first ultrasound. Other than that, to me, it's pointless anyways. But that's how I personally feel. Each patch, I am now in the back. They already took my vitals. I wasn't able to film that because I was already uh exporting a video that i'm that i just edit but i could take my bonnet off i don't feel like it i did put on clothes today okay put on some lotion today but i don't feel like taking my bonnet off what i was gonna say so oh so the doctor that i'm at they are a part of a teaching hospital so for those of you that are in tampa tampa general is a teaching hospital and with their doctors, offices and stuff, they have students from the University of South Florida that come in first to see you. And then after that, you see a real doctor. Now, I don't want to be bothered. Like, I'm not in the mood to be bothered with a student. I'm um, not saying that students aren't great. Sometimes they're more knowledgeable than doctors. Sometimes they're kinder than doctors. But today, I don't want to be bothered. So I told them I don't want a student. Um, even when I gave birth to my last child, I wouldn't allow any students um, in the room. I wouldn't allow any students to look at him. Uh, so that's something that's just personal. I just don't want people using me as their little guinea pig to learn. I just rather talk to the person that's already a doctor and get it over with. I feel like I'm in a little, uh, got an attitude. <laughs> um, it could be because of the the anxiety like we're getting closer and closer i'm currently 32 weeks three days so we're getting um more closer to a due date induction date things of that nature and so i do still have anxiety about this which is one of the reasons why i don't want to be bothered i'm sitting here like tapping my leg <laughs> i don't want to be bothered very very short tempered lately this is what the room looks like <laughs> peach patch so the doctor just came in and saw me um she wants to do an nst which is a non-stress test where they put a little monitor on your stomach she wants to see if they can squeeze me in for that she said it'll be about 20 or 30 minutes on the monitor they want me to do that once or twice a week she don't know yet i don't know yet well i would say i don't know yet she said once or twice i was gonna say so that was a nurse knocking at the door um, they're also going to see if they can schedule my induction date today. So I'm going to go um, sit with the nurse to find out when we'll be induced. Um, I'm not enthused. I'm more like, I'm ready for this to be over, but I'm not ready. Like, you know how you ready to meet the baby, ready for the baby to come out. But the possibility of something being wrong with the baby is still in the back of my mind. And it scares me. And I know it's going to complicate my life. So it's like, oh, I just really want you to stay in just a little bit longer. This is one of the reasons why I got to work really, really hard um, for the next couple of weeks. So that if, God forbid, something is wrong, um, it won't really affect us financially. And I could have the time to, like, really, really cope with it. But I'm not going to let this, like, 
stop me or defeat me. Like my daddy say, life is full of adversity. Stuff's gonna happen that's beyond our control. Um, the biggest part of it is just trying to prepare myself mentally for what could happen. I get so many um, messages or people just walking up to me like yesterday in the casino, this lady pulled me aside and said the same thing that's going on with me. They said that with her and she couldn't even enjoy the pregnancy. She was very stressed out and the baby ended up being fine. So hopefully my baby will be fine, but that's still like in the back of my mind, a little bit of um, anxiety about it. And it's making me like short tempered and have an attitude and I don't want to be like that because that's not really like the type of person I am but that's how I feel like I don't really want to be bothered I really don't <laughs> Trash, this is my stomach uh, she is about to check the baby's heart right I have a lot of stretch marks but I think my stomach looks good to be done birth five kids baby number six Which I have never done this before. Oh, uh, uh, never done this before, ne like here. Okay. I've had a non stress test done before, but it's normally at the other doctor I used to go to. They have you lay down on the bed, so I've never seen anything like this. That's good enough? And then help me with your body weight. Oh, okay. Feel cool where the baby is, okay? Does she listen to over here or over there? Right here. Heartbeat ranges from 110 to 160. This is the Tocos, it's a sensor that picks up any contractions. Okay, thank you. You do have a job though. You have okay, press the button every time you feel the baby kick or move. Oh, you have to press that button. <laughs> okay, right? so you have to be it. okay, so we can't just sit here and do nothing. Uh, so this is the first I have. I've never done one of these before at a doctor's office. They put this on you during labor. Also, I have done this um, in the doctor's office, but normally laying down. So they actually have these chairs that recline and you just sit up. So it's very comfortable. Um, every time the baby moves, I'm supposed to press this blue button. So I got to really focus. I don't think I can multitask. Uh, I kind of trained myself to not focus on the baby moving. So <laughs> that's kind of hard for me. And then over here we have the baby's heart rate and something else she explained. I don't remember. But she said the heart rate should be between, I forgot. I think she said one, 110 to 160. The heart rate is in red. So what happens if the heart rate is above 160? Oh. <laughs> okay. So if it's above 160, it means the baby moving. All right. I got to remember. Press this blue button. <laughs> Peach patch. So the nurse came and was talking about um, an induction date. So she'll be back shortly with uh, what induction date is available. I can't believe we're about to really have a baby um, in a couple weeks. That's that's nuts. It's, it's going by fast. I think when you don't tell people you're pregnant, your pregnancy goes by super duper fast. I kind of still wish I wouldn't have told y'all just yet. I probably should have waited till like a week before. And it'll already be over. Um, people always write to me, how's the baby doing? When's the baby coming? What's your induction date? 
I'm not gonna tell y'all my induction date. I'm gonna keep it to myself. I like privacy. Like I like vlogging and telling y'all about what's going on. But at the same time, I still like privacy and having certain things, you know, to myself, especially with uh, what else I say? Especially with the I just had a kid and the whole movement. Uh, especially with what's going on with this baby. I don't want anybody to be stressing me out around the time I'm about to give birth. So you guys will know um, after it's done. But I'm happy that I'm going to know what date we're going in to be induced. Peach Patch, I got this long uh, paper about my next appointment. I'm going to have to do the NST, which stands for non-stress um, test, every week, twice a week. So I got all of those appointments scheduled for the next few weeks. And then I have to bring back these bands. They want me to use my same bands every time so I have to not lose this. I'm gonna put this in my glove compartment in the van. That way I won't lose it. I have my induction date. I'm super excited because I know exactly when our baby is coming. So that's like a little a little um, relief. It's like a, a, an, an excitement and a fear because I still, you know, hope and pray nothing is wrong with this baby the baby comes out healthy that the devil is a liar um but i still have that little bit of fear every time i think about it i want to cry i'm trying not to cry and um enjoy this moment now i can really shop if i want to because i know exactly when baby is coming but i think i'm still gonna wait i'm just gonna like pick out my car seat and then when baby is born daddy can go get the car seat with uh our other baby, our last baby, we ended up buying the car seat one day before baby was born with Gorgeous. Daddy bought the car seat while I was still in the hospital. Like before we came home, it was like we could come home. He left, went and bought a car seat from Walmart and came back. But I'm super excited, nervous and all of that stuff. I have to go get some blood work done. So we're going to do that next. But we about to have a baby, Peach Patch, really, really soon. Patch, I'm finally going over to get blood work um, done. Yeah. All right, Peach Patch. So the doctor just came over and spoke with me. I'm fine. Um, and spoke with me and was saying that he thinks that we should get another ultrasound done to look at the baby's heart. Just to make sure there's nothing wrong with the baby's heart. Because if something is wrong with the baby's heart and the baby requires surgery at the birth, they would have to transfer the baby from TGH to St. Joe's. Which I love St. Joe's. Like, I would have preferred to deliver at St. Joe's. I love St. Joe's Women's Hospital. Tampa General, I get, like, anxiety crossing that bridge. Nobody in the family wants to visit you because you got to pay to park. Versus uh, St. Joe's is, like, on the main road, conveniently located. But yeah, now we're gonna get this blood work done. Peach special. She's just looking for my vein. Hopefully, we got some juicy veins today because I only drunk one cup of water and I haven't eaten yet. I'm not scared of needles. I used to be scared of needles, y'all, when I was younger. But then I had a nurse say, instead of you freaking out and turning your head, you better look to make sure I'm doing it right. Ever since then, I look to make sure they're doing it right. It does not scare me. Uh, she just changed my mind. Y'all know how to say and go change your mind, change your life. Let's hope it's juicy. I don't want to get poked a bunch. Ooh, sister girl might be dry. She needs some water. You need some milk. Let's see. Oh, look at my little juicy vein. That is juicy. Thank you, girl. You're welcome. We gotta fill up three tubes. Three. This doesn't hurt, and no, I'm not freaking out. I'm not scared of needles. The needles. Peach patch. I'm all done here. Um, I love today. I was just talking to one of the doctors, like the head doctor, and he was like about a test that I needed to get done, and I mentioned like how I couldn't do the MRI because I had a panic attack and it's just scaring me. And he was like, "We're not gonna force you to do." Anything you don't want to do. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. And I was like, it just made me feel better. Like, sometimes you come to the doctor and you don't want to do something. And they, like, try to peer pressure you. Or they catch an attitude with you. And I'm the kind of person I shut down um, when stuff like that happens. I don't like to be judged. Like, you're my 
healthcare professional and you're trying to give me preventative care or treatment, but still, please consider like, I'm a person with phobias and fears and a lot of emotions going on. So today's visit, I absolutely love. Like, they were very kind, understanding, not condescending. All right, Peach Patch, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I can finally take my mask off. Got my little band from the blood work. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit a like you like. Hey, hit a like you like. Hit a like you like. For your girl. Thanks for watching. Like like. Hit a like you like. Uh. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit her like you like and send that love my way L to the IK, E-Y, babe Hit her like you like and send that love my way Like, 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 like Let's go Like, 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 like Like, 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 hit her like, like Hit her like you like, for your girl, go Fly with a like, rock with a like To the left, to the right, go like, like, like Australia better like, like, like US better like, better like, 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 like UK hit her like, a like, a like Hit her like, a like, 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 like Hit her like, 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 like For your girl, take it back to the like Like, 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 from the left to the right Go like, 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 like Scotland better like, 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 like Hit her like, hit her like, go left to the right Go like, 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 like I hope y'all like, like this sound. Yeah, that's right. Jacking. Hit a like you like for your girl. Like, Thanks for like, joking. Like, like, Bye. Like, like.